Welcome to Design Culture Now, a place where we can create and share compelling stories in all aspects of design. If all things design is your thing as well, then follow me on this design journey and we can create together. In other words, subscribe. In floral design, there is a belief that everything natural will complement each other, and I have found this to be very true. In nature, if you just stop and look around, you'll notice the beauty of life's design. From the sky's immaculate blues of the afternoon to the serene gradients of the evening skies. And if you're looking for a more natural direction in your design, the absolute best piece to start with is your color. Your design will start with the proper choice of colors, and beyond that, the tones and shades that you will use for your work. Your selection of tone is a matter of finding the right balance between the brightness, depth, and hue of the colors within your palette. In a field of wildflowers, you don't ever see colors that don't go together with each other, because they all just do. When you look at them, you'll notice that every different color of flower complements the next, right beside them and beyond. It's simply natural. Take a look at your next design and ask yourself, does this look natural? Can you properly read and evoke a natural emotion within your work? If the emotions are there, are they the right emotions that you're trying to convey? If not, were they the right colors? Ask someone else to see what they feel about your design without telling them to focus on the color. In fact, don't even mention the color. Try to receive an authentic first impression of your work. This will help you create a strong foundation for your design. There are many outlets where you can get your colors from, anywhere from online to pre-made color palettes. Depending on your work and the project you're working on, if you want to focus on naturalism, go outdoors and take pictures of the sky, trees, and grass. Nature. It's all there. Then sample those colors. They will not be 100% accurate because of camera settings affecting the light, and depending on the time of day, the color will differ. But it will be the most representative of the natural color palette you want to achieve. Save that color palette. Those are a sample of natural colors that you harvested yourself. Natural colors are everywhere, and if we take a moment to not only acknowledge its beauty, but use it to sample for our own work, It could make our designs even just the slightest bit more natural.